Hello everybody, you're here with Claudio Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is an exciting episode about a small amount of products to take on a trip, uh, on a hot trip, like a beach, a pool. You can really take it for anything. I mean, I would take it even for winter trips, but this is what I took to Cancun, Mexico recently and I've been wanting to show you. I actually uh, share a picture in, in my community post. I don't know if you've seen it. So I will be talking about that, all the products and, uh, and perhaps options as well. So uh, if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. And I do realize it took me forever. I mean, I planned this like a month and a half ago. <laughs> I know most products of fall are coming out now and I'm still on this little traveling vacation uh, kit but I thought it was important because these are basic basic products easy products for a one two three easy makeup so here we go the first thing and it was um, it's not a new product but it was sort of a discovery for me is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer uh, this being reformulated they come up with new but this is a natural skin perfecter and the reason I like this is because it has SPF 30. So it already has the SPF, sorry for that noise. I'm shaking it, <laughs> forgot to do that before being on camera. So uh, I find that this is the easiest thing. I mean, even the people I was traveling with, uh, when they saw how easy and fast I would get ready, they were surprised. They're like, oh my God, you're ready like in two seconds. And I'm like, yeah, I don't do much. I might look like I do. Now, I know there's a lot of you that love Herborean cream and uh, other obviously very good tinted moisturizers. So yes, you can, you can use those instead. Um, I like this one because it has a little bit of radiance, obviously the FPF. It does have a little bit of pearly color uh, to it and it doesn't bother me. And I find that I can use this in the day or at night. So the Herborean, I feel, is most for the day. Uh, of course, I'm sure some of you use it for the night as well. But to me, this one can be really used at night as well. It just evens my skin a little bit more, I, feel, I find. Now, it's very interesting because when I went to the store, oh my God, and I don't have it here with me, uh, and they did my coloring, they actually gave me a color darker. I look very tan. I mean, it does look like my skin, but a little tanner. I do have a video on that one. And um, I'm not used to seeing myself so tan or more golden tone or more yellowish. So I do not like, I like when it, the color gives me more pearly, a little more cooler. Um, so if it's not an exact match, I prefer the cooler versus the golden. But it seems that every time they match me, they want to get me in the tanner. I mean, part of it is a trend, right? But we also have to account what we like. <laughs> and so, And I was going to return that big one because I bought the big one. And I just never did. I think the time has passed, um, unfortunately. Uh, so I might mix it or use it, but what I ended up uh, ordering instead a day before my trip was this size. This is a traveling size, so this is not the full size, but it has lasted. It's been good. I was gone for 10 days, and, he, and I still have, I mean, more than three quarters, and I use it a lot. So it has enough. It does. I was afraid a little bit before leaving because I thought, oh my God, would this be enough? You know, sometimes they're smaller tubes and, and you just use it all. But yes, yes, there's more than enough. I mean, probably this will take you a month, I think. So there you have it. Now, just as an option, I don't know if you've been with me, uh, you know that I love the Charlotte Tilbury corrector. So if you wanted to put something underneath just to correct a little bit of the purple and then this, that could be a choice. And this is very small and tiny as well. So it's good for the traveling kit. Uh, but in this video, I'm showing you this, and then I took two uh, different concealers. One of them was the Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer, which I don't know why I don't have it here with me to show you, but it is on the picture that I show. Let me see if I have it right here. 
If not, uh, it looks like a lipstick. Oh yeah, here. So you can take this concealer, which is great. It's very light coverage, very creamy coverage. So day, night, pool, sweaty, it works. Uh, or you can use, I took this sort of sample IT, IT Bye Bye Under Eye, full coverage, waterproof concealer. So if you sweat a lot or you're gonna be around the pool and you have very dark eyes, this is full coverage. So it really will uplift you for sure because it really will cover. The Cladipo is very light, uh, so it looks very natural, but it conceals a little bit. And so, um, either or, I took both. Why both? Because usually I would take more the Cladipo, which is Cladipo, which is very light, or without, like I am wearing now. But look how small tiny i'm taking of the fiber under eye this is it cosmetics i take this because for night i mean you, i don't need that's even a lot for night um i do like my under eyes a little more concealed why because that immediately uplifted you and makes your look more finished even though i might wear the same amount of makeup but the fact that the under eyes are brightening and full coverage totally changed the way makeup looks. So I might do a little bit here and there, but you saw the amount that I took, very, very little. And, um, and the places I'm applying is if I have a little bit of red, uh, because that will really conceal it, and also um, all in the center of my face, because that will give the illusion that I have light within and dark on the outside. And that usually slims, slims your face out. So I'm not saying anything new, but you know, it's good to sometimes repeat these things because sometimes we forget or we wanna to come to basics because there's so much out there, right? That we start trying all these different things. All right, so that was the second item. And then, but you saw the sizes. I mean, if you're considering everything fit on this small bag, this is my hand, look at this. So everything fit in here. And I love these bags. These are from Ipsy. I don't know if you know about that. Um, they, Ipsy is like a service that they used to send every month, like all these samples of products, of makeup, of beauty. Um, I don't know if they're still around. They probably are. I'm looking for my biscuit. Uh, it's another one that I take. Uh, but they used to send one every month. And I love the bags that they send. Actually, my friends asked me to give her, uh, give their, you know, different colors to different ones because they just love it. And I kept this. This one uh, was the one that I just kept because of the practicality of it. It's still beautiful. Uh, so I wish I knew where we can get them because they are perfect, you know, perfect in the sense that they're soft, they're perfect size, they open enough, I don't have to struggle. I mean, I wish, maybe I'll search and see if, if they're available anywhere other than subscribing to the service. Anyhow, so let's continue because it seems that I'm taking forever as usual. So the next thing that I think is a must is Westman Atelier Biscuit, it's a contour. Now, you know, if you've been with me, I love this product. Well, they sell now a trio, which comes with this, the lit up and a blush in a tiny, smaller portions. Um, I definitely will get those three and perhaps take the three and that will substitute some of the other products I have here because this is small enough. So I took this one. But imagine the traveling size and having all three. Uh, oh my God, that will even save even more space. And this is a small space already. All right. So this is perfect for a little bit of contour. It's not necessarily going for a very contour uh, look, but it's only for shading, uh, if you notice, to slim my face. So you can do that and then you can put a little bit of the of the color uh, just on the creases of my 
eye and that will give a little bit of illusion. I mean, not of an eyeshadow, but at least the, uh, the enhancing of the eye. And uh, so I'm going for obviously for a very natural look, but very simple, right? All right, the second thing is I took the Victoria Vacuum Highlighter. I love, 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 love this. It's a new product. She just came out with it not too long ago. But if it wasn't this, like I, this is one of the substitutes, the Westman Atelier 3 will have a, a lit up a highlighter. I also own it and I love it. So again, you can put it even in the center of your lid, although I'm gonna show you something else. But this is all to wake you up, light up, bring your eyes. You see, it's already like mm, fresh. So the other product will be, I took the uh, Cledipo cream blush because it's so small and perfect, tiny. Um, but again, the trio from Westman Atelier, it will be like three small ones, the biscuit, the highlight and lead up and the blush. I would take those three. Instead, I'm taking this three. So still enough, still fits in the back. All right, so this Cladipo, I'm not sure if I took this color. I own two. For some reason, I couldn't find my other one. It seems like on purpose because I have all, everything very organized. But when I'm doing a video, things disappear in me. I think it has to do that I pull them out and put them in places because I'm gonna film and that's how it disappears. I have to change my strategy on that. <laughs> anyway, so this, again, you can use your finger or you can use, this is a Kiboki Sonia G brush. It comes in a set of five and look how small it is. So definitely traveling size and definitely fits on this small bag. So, and I do take a little bit like this. You can use your finger also. And then I just put a little bit up. So I guess this is a little more, what is this color? Cause the one I took is a little more soft pink, but uh, this one will work as well. Look how beautiful, wow. Sometimes I don't wear these things and I forget how beautiful they are. So, of course, I <laughs> took it a month ago, right? So I already forgot. Yeah, that's, that's how my memory spawn <laughs> is. And so I use it also for my eyes, right? Look how beautiful. Now, I already did my eyebrows because I was gonna film a different video. I started with that and that's how I remember to film this one. Yeah, sorry about that. But I have different options of what you can, I took Rowan, which has been one of my favorites. Rowan is a very tiny little thing, but it matches my eyebrows pretty good. So I only took this one because I could shade like I'm doing now, or you can do just strokes to fill where you need, but it just shapes it. And it has, of course, a little spoolie brush. And so you can take something like this. I also have a Chanel pencil, which I find that does the same as this, a little lighter. Um, so from both, I think I would prefer this just because it gives me a little darker more defined sort of eyebrows. And since I'm wearing very small amount of makeup, this also is very helpful. So one of my favorites, and I did take Rowan, but different options. Westman Atelier, it's a little thicker, but beautiful, much easier because it's a thicker sort of pencil. I love this and I like the color Bark. Um, and again, whatever you use for your eyebrows, the other ones that I have is when Stefani is two types. So the way that works, she has um, a thicker, well, this is a thin also for strokes and things like that. And then she has a thicker one. So this one is more like a shading. So you put this all over first, kind of fills it up, and then you use the pencil 
for stroking. But again, if I was just uh, taking very little amounts, I would take this. Look how tiny. I mean, compared to this ones, and compared to the Westman Atelier, right? So, I mean, if you're considering space, that's what you do. All right. Um, so, where am I now? Um, oh, definitely I would take a good balm. So, recently I discovered Ilia. Oh. And if you saw my video, I was using samples and I decided to get a full size. That's how much I love this one. So I love, love, love it. Um, or you can take Laneige. Laneige is known for great balms. They're a little uh, in the shiny, soft, oilier, just glossier sort of uh, color. Because this one's feel like a balm lipstick, right? And this is more like uh, balm gloss you see that the shininess um so i would take one or the other depending on your on your taste uh but the one i actually took was gucci and this is um goldie red is called rouge de booty brilliant so this one i like because it might look almost like a lipstick color. Look at that, compared to the balm, right? But it dissipates and it leaves a glossy, but tint, but beautiful. So this is what I'm gonna wear because this is the one I took. You see that? So you can really make it, let me just do one. So it might look too red, but hold on. Um, if I plot it a little bit, it really dissipates, you'll see. You see that? So, for every day, I will put it like that, maybe take a little bit off. Uh, I forgot to, I would either curl, curl my eyes, if you wanna take a curler, or just do the mascara if you are looking for space. I don't always take my curler with me. If it's gonna be a more important trip, not so relaxing, or I do wanna look a little more put together, I would take the curler. Uh, in this kind of trip where it's just fun and, uh, and during the day mostly and things like that, I don't take the curler, just a good mascara. Uh, so again, you see, when you pile it like that, you can really use it for day. And then when you saw when I first apply it and don't, you know, pout it out, it looks glossy and more red. So you can use it for day or night, which I love. Uh, and of course you can take a bowl lipstick, you know, that you can use it uh, more for night if you really want not something that will go softer. Um, so you might add an extra lipstick to this grouping. <laughs> <laughs> if you prefer. Now, the other thing you might also take, if you like, and let this get soft, is a good eyeshadow. So what I took was, um, I didn't take it, I got it after, but what I would take now is the Victoria Beckham. Uh, these are, uh, this is Miro Miro, and I have a video on it. So this really ramps up disco sort of look. So I would do all the same, but I will do a disco look with a good liner and, uh, and, and just wear it like this for night. Or uh, what I'm gonna do right now, I would use, and these are new, I'm gonna do a video coming up with all the different shades, but I just discovered them. This is Ilia, and this is Liquid Powder uh, Matte eye tint and they have some with a little shimmer or a little radiant uh, if you want to use for a little sparkly during the day they're lovely but uh, i like this mattes and uh and so and i got all these colors so if you wanted to and they are uh water resistant and long lasting and all of this jazz so if you're in a sweaty hat is they're 
gorgeous and perfect. And so um, I want to show you, but I don't know if I should put, because I should put a little more orangey or a little more cooler, kind of grayish. I'll use the grayish so you see. So I probably would take this grayish and then the Victoria Beckham Mirror Mirror. So this during the day, if you want to put shade. Uh, and then this during the night and you really will glam out. And everything fits in that little bag. Um, the last thing, and I will try this real quick, but the last thing I did take, you know this Cletopol Cream to Powder? This is one of favorite. This is very radiant. You open it and you have, but this is very bulky. So if you take out what goes in here, it's actually this tiny little thing. And it comes this little puck. So this thing goes in there. But you can take it out and just put this in and this will fit. And what I do, you can either use the same brush or a um, one of my favorites, which is the one I use all the time, which is my IT Cosmetics. If you've been with me, you know I use this for everything. So you take it, TTT, and you just apply to make more radiance, to cover up, to fix up, to retouch, to whatever. So this is another one that I do take for that reason. Very, very easy, simple. So you don't have to reapply the whole Lara Mercier everywhere. You can do here and there, but I would, pretty much retouch with this. So everything just fits. So let me just finish up with a little bit, cause I would just use mascara, but let me just show you this new product. And I'm doing a video on all the colors next. So if you wanna see how they are in swatches. So I, you apply very little, and then you sort of just with your finger, now, I like to bring it up um, you see that how beautiful shading you see that it's barely there but it does give something and imagine all right fine I will try the orange one on the other side so you see what I'm saying uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. oh here here and they have some very olive green, some golden, some very pinkish radiance. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna apply a little bit there. And you see how different it looks. And I'm using my finger. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And so look how different, this one's cooler, and then this one's a little orangey, but there's all different colors. And look at the size, I mean, this goes in that little bag. And so again, everything I just spoke to you in this small bag, and you have a full range of things. I hope you like this look. I hope you enjoy everything I show you. Uh, I will not go and get mascara and bath because you know how the finished look is. Should I? Uh, all right, I'll do it. And um, because the one I took, and why isn't it? Oh yeah, the mascara I took is Too Faced, better than sex mascara. Now, um, if you want for the night again, I would take a lip, an eyeliner, and the ones I recommend is the Victoria Beckham. They have all different colors. And what I like about them is they're bold colors, so they're strong. And uh, and then it has a little sponge on the other end. And because they're very creamy before they dry, you can really smush them out. So you can use it as an eyeliner, or you can use it like a eyeliner and smoosh up a little bit so it gives it the impression of a little bit of eyeshadow or you can literally use it as an eyeshadow 
So look at that. Um, so that's why I like them. They're very versatile. So I would take one color, perhaps two. And then if you notice, just between the Ilia, the different um, lip options I gave you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk and, <laughs> and doing this at once. Um, you have so many nice options. Uh, for day to night, so, and very little products. There you have it, beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like this tutorial and uh, if it's not too late <laughs> for vacation purposes. <laughs> and I will see you on the next video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner. Please comment down below. And here we are, of course, one eye and one eye different looks it's different looks but imagine this with the uh, disco it will definitely complement so thank you very much for watching bye